first, uh, drug trafficking and particularly drug trafficking by ear is our number one issue that we, we work together to, to combat. And security in its broad sense encompasses more than just uh, those uh, transnational organized crime drug trafficking. And um, we also look at opportunities and, and consider security in its non-traditional sense. Uh, we, we try to, to, to envision what the future looks like along the border regions. Um, you know, we, when we look at the, the increased agricultural trade between Belize and Mexico, um, any cross-border activity, uh, they, there is an opportunity for illicit activities to occur. And so we are looking at, as, as well as um, those, those trade agreements between Belize and Mexico to determine the extent of vulnerability that may exist between uh, movement of cattle from one side um, of the border to the next, but also the movement of funds um, from one side to the next and determine uh, how best we can secure um, those, those trade agreements, um, especially for, um, for our side. And we'd also look at Train Maya, um, the, that, that mega project on, in the Yucatan uh, Peninsula that, that um, is intended to connect, I think, about 900 kilometers uh, by, by rail. Um, that means a lot of movement of people and the potential that exists for that that um, rail or road to connect um, Mexico into Belize, possibly through a very ski. So we're looking at what the future operating environment would look like in order to, to start the preparation for the security forces. For example, for the Belize Coast Guard, that means expanding our operational base on Northern Umbrega ski to ensure that whenever there's that increase of movement of people or movement of goods, um, along northern Umbregas into Pichalac and Mahawal, Mexico, that we are prepared uh, for, for to deal with those security challenges.